Some oh, stuff no. with knives, pieces of wall missing, Yambani Ramsey material. They're just looking for anything they can find that'll help. We want to help in any way we can to find out. FBI's been here for some time today. Questioning your clients? Sure. Want cooperation for Can you tell us why um, Casey's in the hospital? She had a complication with her medical problems, having to deal with her stomach and colon problems, and we had to have emergency surgery. She's doing all right? Any of this have to do They're with They're just stress? starting the surgery right now. I don't know that it had to do with stress, but they're just doing the surgery right now. How are your clients doing? I mean, obviously, they're in the hospital. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, she's in the hospital, and he's going to be with the fireside right now. Mr. Shell, in, in the warrants, there is a, several allegations of abuse, uh, physical and mental, and I think most of it says it, that the allegations came from the James, the, the brother, or the, the doctor brother. Uh, is there anything that you can say about that? You take it for what it's worth. Just anything anybody says, they can stick in there to get problem calls. Um, we don't put any trust in that. You know, also say that um, the party admitted that they were continuing to collect money even when Eric was no longer there. Uh, they probably have since they were legally responsible for Erica. Even though she wasn't living with them. Right. They still have the legal responsibility for us. They haven't transferred that to anybody else. Was that the right thing to do? I don't know. Well, you could probably say it to you. That's what their understanding of what the law is. To take money if you don't have your child? Take money if you don't have your child. They considered Erica to be coming back anytime. And it also protected her in maintaining her Medicaid coverage. These warrants point out inconsistency with your client's story. What do you have to say about that? Inconsistencies with my client's stories. And to me, I've been through their stories about three or four times. And How have they been handling that stress of having everything their home torn apart and out? Frankly, um, they haven't really been able to be there a whole lot since it happened. I think probably Casey had to go off to the hospital before the search was even finished. Um, we're just anxious to, to get Erica back and to find her and, and get over with her life. Why do you think Erica's stepbrother is making these allegations? Have your clients said there's a reason why he's coming out? There is because uh, Casey has had Erica arrested after she beat her. Uh, Casey went on to uh, not come to court so that the charges would be dismissed against uh, James. Uh, James beat Casey again in June and when he left to put her in jail. Was there anything in that warrant that was removed from the home that surprised your client? I haven't really been through it thoroughly at this point. Some of the stuff in there makes it seem that Erica might, might not be alive, might not still be here. Well, we certainly expect her to be. What is your message to the people of Ryan County? I, I know this is really an investigation, but what, what do you want to tell the people of Ryan County? Casey Parsons and her husband are doing everything they possibly can to find Carol. It sounds like Casey yesterday during the search of the hospital report. Thank you very much. Did you do 